question. The houses of three sisters lie in the same row, but the middle sister does not live in the middle house. In the morning, the shadow of the eldest sister's house falls on the youngest sister's house. What can be concluded for sure? Options A. The youngest sister lives in the middle. B. The eldest sister lives in the middle. C. Either the youngest or the eldest sister lives in the middle. D. The youngest sister's house lies on the east of the middle sister's house. Solution Let us try to picture the given data as shown below. From the east, we can label the houses as house 1, house 2 and house 3 respectively. Let us denote the eldest sister, middle sister and youngest sister by E, M and Y respectively. It is given that the middle sister does not live in the middle house. Therefore, only Y or E can occupy house 2. Thus, we have two different cases. Case 1 where Y occupies house 2 and case 2 where E occupies house 2. The question also tells us that in the morning, the shadow of the eldest sister's house falls on the younger sister's house. We know that in the morning, the sun rises in the east and any shadow will fall towards the west. Let us consider case 1 where Y occupies the middle house. Here, for the shadow of E's house to fall on Y's house, E should be in house 1. Therefore, M occupies the only remaining house, that is house 3. Similarly, let us consider case 2 where E occupies the middle house. Here, for the shadow of E's house to fall on Y's house, Y's house should be located on immediate left of E's house. That is, Y occupies house 3. Therefore, M can occupy the only remaining house, that is, house 1. Here, both the cases are valid as they don't create any contradiction with respect to the statements in the question. Thus, the correct answer option should satisfy both these cases. Let us analyze each answer option with respect to the above two cases. Firstly, let us consider option A where the youngest sister lives in the middle house. With respect to this option and the given data, we can conclude that only case 1 can happen. But this is a wrong conclusion as there is a possibility of case 2 to happen. Now, let us consider option B which tells that the eldest sister lives in the middle house. By considering this option and the given data, we can see that only case 2 can happen. This conclusion is wrong as there is a possibility of case 1 to happen. Now, let us consider option C which tells that either the youngest or the eldest sister lives in the middle house. This option addresses the possibility of both the cases and makes the conclusion that either case 1 or case 2 can happen, which is correct. Therefore, the right answer to the question is option C.